Hello, I'm Gary Simon, President and Founder of Great Transition Strategies. Today's topic, video number two on coaching entrepreneurs. Video number one, big picture. And just to refresh, big picture, we're broken up into two areas. First area is research. Second area, action. Research, there's three areas, and that's what we're going to focus on today. Those three areas. So in the research side, the three areas I consider, particularly when I'm doing the coaching, is what drives you? I want to find out what drives you to start this business. Number two is what's your vision for your business. And then number three is what is the business? When you come in and you think you want to be an entrepreneur and you start this, you have a pretty good idea. This is what I want to do. And you might say, this is the business I want, but you'll find as you start doing this overall research, now you're going to get to a laser focus on what it's going to be. Many times we start really wide. We have these grandiose plans for our business and then realize in order to get off the ground, I really need to choose what it is. So let's talk about each one of these. Drivers. What's driving you to start your business? What is your why? And this, this takes a little bit of work with your values. Try to figure out what's personally most important to you. So you can, you can succinctly say, I am doing this business because I am a coach. I'm a leadership and executive coach because I believe leadership is a great differentiator. If you are a leader, you're going to outperform your peers. If a company has a culture of leadership, it's going to outperform peer companies. Leadership makes a great difference for the individual, for the individuals at work, and then a circle around those folks. That's why I do what I do. I want to help make better leaders so people can get to where they want to go and they create a much better environment. What's your why? So what is driving you to start your business? We're going to go, like I said, and look at, look at values. Simon Sinek would say, this is you determining your, your why. This is the motivation. Maybe you grew up with your parents having a small business and it's just part of your DNA. You've been around it. You've always wanted to do it. It's just part of who you are. Great. Maybe it's, you see a problem. Here's a problem I need to solve. Maybe it's because you have not been able to fulfill yourself in a W-2 job with the work you have and you think you have the skill set that you really want to laser focus in on working on developing your skill set and using that skill set. Maybe you want to develop your community. You want to provide jobs for your community. Whatever it is, it's really important that you can succinctly state, the reason I do this is because this is what's driving me. So number one, drivers and think values. We're going to work on your values. Okay, number two, what's your vision for your business? Short term, long term, year one, year three, year five, year 10. How are you going to exit? We all come in and have this vision for a business, but now this is the time to think about it and try and nail, nail down, this is what I want for my business. I want to be a solopreneur and just only be in my business. I want to grow my business and I want to build, and here are some of the metrics I'm thinking about this many employees, this much revenue, this kind of footprint, maybe that's what you want. Whatever it is, what's the vision, short term, long term? And when you get into the second part of taking action, this is going to be really important for that. So what's your vision? Where do you see envision yourself going with this business? Okay, great. Those are two. Last, what is the business? Once you work on your why, this is why I'm doing this, and you've created a vision, you'll be surprised at how your focus changes. You might come in and say, I want to do, I want to create this type of business and hire this many people. And then as you start figuring your why, it's going to get a little narrower and a little narrower. As entrepreneurs, we start big, usually big and broad. Now, this is an opportunity to maybe focus it down and say, okay, now that I understand myself a little better and I understand the vision I have for this a little more clearly, this is what I'm going to do. This is what's going to allow me to fulfill my why and help me fulfill that vision. So really get into the selection of narrowing things down of, hey, I'm going to be a coach and I'm going to serve. This is who I'm going to serve. This is what my business is. Here's my niche. That's going to help you get really, really focused. All right. So that's the first part of the coaching. That's taking care of the first part, the research. It's research about you. What's driving you? What's your vision for your business? And what is your business actually going to be as you get started? Thanks for listening. 
see you in the, in the next video, which is video three on the next steps about taking action. I'm going to talk specifically about your business plan.